Hello, in this video I'm making risotto milanese. It's the most popular risotto in Italy. That's what Google told me. Anyway, it's the yellow one. It's got saffron in it. Very few ingredients, so we have to make sure they're as nice as possible. Anyway, I know you're going to really, really like this one. Okay, so in a glass goes some boiling water, followed by the saffron, and give that a stir around. Now, I did this a couple of hours before I made the risotto, and you'll see the benefits of doing this early, the color change there, how dramatic that color change is. So give it a couple of hours, or at least an hour, I would say. So there was the rice coronale, that's some white onion chopped up, and that was pecorino cheese, I believe, parmesan, gran padano, they're all acceptable. And that's a brown chicken stock, should be beef stock, but they didn't have any. And I love my brown chicken stock, you check out my recent video if you like. And um, I'm keeping that warm at the back there. So in with some of the butter, about a third of the butter went into a, a low medium heat pan and the onion and you're going to stir that around for a couple of minutes. Do not let it get brown, you're just softening it. And then once it's softened, in goes the rice and you're going to stir those around together for another further couple of minutes. It's going to rough up the edges of the rice, making it more porous to absorb liquid. It's also going to mix them together thoroughly as well. So once that's happened, in goes the first bit of liquid. In this case, it is the white wine. I do recommend using white wine. If you really don't want wine, you could use some. You, well, you could just use the, the stock, I suppose. But you might want to put a bit of lemon or something in it for the acidity. But you're cooking that out, the wine, until it's almost completely gone. It's just sort of moist. That's to get rid of the alcohol, basically. And in goes the stock. So yeah, as I say, if you're going to use a beef stock, we'll use a really good quality one. Go, you know, buy, spend money on a good one. But as I say, I make my own stocks. And so it goes in in batches. So the first batch went in. I stirred that around, and then I add a bit more. Now you, I have heard people argue that you can just add all the stock in one go. And but this is how the Italians do it. Don't argue with them. They're good at that. And uh, yes, so when uh, the final bit of stock has gone in, we can then add our saffron water. In that goes. And you'll see very immediate the color change. Gorgeous, actually. Doesn't it look nice? So then it's time to add the butter and the cheese. So the remaining butter, yes, it's a lot of butter. I love it. it makes everything better. And you flop it around in the pan. You toss it in the pan. The, the Italians call this the wave for obvious reasons. So when they add the butter and the cheese and that they do the wave thing, it makes a more creamy, starchy risotto. Tons and tons of black pepper. I didn't add any salt. I had a taste and I didn't think it needed any, but you know, obviously you can add salt at that stage. The consistency is looking great. Get it in a bowl when it's ready. Tell everyone it's ready. Come and eat. You don't hang around like I didn't take photos and things like that. Just, just eat it. It's ready. And then finish it with a little flourish of more cheese and pepper because I just think it makes it look more appetizing than ever. And you take a taste and then you well, you hand it over to me to find out how it tastes. Okay, so how is this risotto milanese? Mm. Tastes very nice. Very saffrony, um, which I guess is the star of the show. Um, I have one more bite here, and just I'm gonna test if the rice is cooked. I like it. Yeah, very happy with that. So it's gonna take somewhere between 16 and 20 minutes, closer to 20 minutes, I think, to get it just nice, a little bit toothsome. You can feel it; it's not mush, but also it's it's cooked, and it's got that creamy consistency through the butter and the cheese and everything in there. It's just, it's so nice. Um, I do recommend you give making risotto a go. And if you haven't made this, why not go for this one as well? It's absolutely delicious. Mm. Yum. So uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing and liking, subscribing, and making comments, all those sorts of things. Cause apparently that will one day help this channel. <laughs> anyway, I do appreciate any interaction you give me. And I'll catch you again reasonably soon. Bye. Yum.